Hey, everybody. <laughs> so, on this piece, we're gonna look for the top of this tendon piece right here. We can cut across, it'll go right down to the bone. And then there's a seam right here and a seam right there that we're gonna cut and remove. So we'll cut down to the paddle bone and cut right to there and then that bone skin will peel back. So you wanna make that cut nice and clean. So doing this prep work is gonna save us a lot of time in pulling this paddle off to get the flat irons off. So that underblade is just all trim. So what we're looking for is the, the sides of this paddle bone right here. So then we're gonna cut down along the side of this paddle bone, right along the chuck tender. And then on the inside, we don't wanna go too deep right here. Just along the side of this paddle bone comes up and then we're gonna follow to the joint where the humerus comes in so around the ball on that and then up to where this elbow is so that prep line on that side right up to where so this elbow sits right there I'm gonna come on the top of where that elbow is because that is where that shank line is so I want to make sure I stay on this side of that the top of that elbow so then from there straight across I can make a line which keeps my shank really clean just a nice clean cut cut this around here to open up the top of this. I can join my lines that I made on that lower spot. So that's gonna open up there. And then on this side, where this tendon comes through and hooks into this bone, I'm gonna make a cut and then put a California hook in there and hang it up. So now I'm on the top of this elbow. I'm gonna cut down around this elbow and then you can see this line right here that's gonna connect my cuts on there. So I'll cut around the front of this elbow, back up, and then I'll connect on the same cut that I made for this shank piece to keep that front shank intact. So I'm gonna use my hook quite a bit. <clears throat> I'm gonna keep a lot of weight on there as I'm coming down. So it stays right on the bone and I can peel this right off.
So when I get to here, you can see this tendon that's connected to that, this ball. I wanna cut that tendon as high as I can. So I'm gonna cut it all the way up here, right where it connects in, because that is gonna be my handle on my flat iron. So I want that sticking out as far as I can so that I've got more of a handle to peel, to be able to peel the flat iron from. So if you cut too low on this tendon, you have to cut into the meat to be able to get a handle. So I'll keep hugging this bone, come around the corner. And then right here on this underside, I'm gonna cut hard up against the paddle, which will separate, you can see that bone skin. Separate the paddle right there. Then I can score down the side. And then I'm gonna put my hook into that tendon so I don't damage any meat. And I'll cut a couple relief cuts. Let go right on top of that paddle bone to open this up. You want to make sure you stay under that bone skin as it's peeling. And so we'll get right down to where this cartilage is. We'll pop that cartilage open and then that tells you where to cut. So let me hook in. I'm not going to touch the meat. I'll cut right across the bottom where that cartilage is. And then I can just cut this cartilage piece off. So now we have the mock tender, the chuck tender on this side. You can separate through here. So this will come off right there. And then this is that tendon we kept extra long. If you cut it off right there, then we have to cut into the meat to be able to get onto there. So, and then the flat iron, there's a seam that comes through right here. You just stay right on that seam, come right out the bottom. So following that same seam all the way down and out the bottom. So there's a flat iron piece. This is the shoulder clod piece. 